Hello, everyone. My name is Cassius Jones, and I'm the head of national accounts and customer success here at Smarking. I'm going to be taking five minutes here to talk to you about one of the new features we just released. We call it our industry benchmark. First things first, though, just a little bit about Smarking. Smarking is the preeminent provider of business intelligence and yield management software for folks who own and manage big portfolios of parking assets. Build our business intelligence and yield management solution by integrating data from all of your parking technology systems. I'm talking about parking access and revenue control systems, uh, meters, mobile payments, online reservations, you name it. We take all these data streams, integrate them into a single platform in order to enable business automation, keeping your expenses low by uh, automating manual processes, using the data to make better business decisions and yield management. How can we leverage this data in order to make smarter pricing and inventory allocation decisions designed to increase revenues? In order to deliver this value, we've built out the, uh, the industry's leading suite of partnerships currently integrated with more than 50 different systems to enable real-time data monitoring holistically across your portfolio. The vision at Smarking is to apply the same yield management technologies that the airline and hotel industries have been so adept at using and really just apply that playbook to parking. So all the interesting things that those industries do around uh, variable or dynamic pricing and really targeted oversell ratios, uh, we think we need to bring that into parking and we think that our software is powering that revolution. So why does the parking industry need a benchmark? Well, first of all, benchmarking is really common in other industries, but parking asset owners and managers currently have no quantitative or holistic understanding of key metrics inside the parking industry. Uh, because there's no quantitative understanding of these key metrics, uh, there's no way to measure those market trends and project out those trends in order to make business decisions. Without the market data, there's no access to data in order to understand how your locations in your portfolio is doing relative to the market. So the Smarking Industry Benchmark tackles these challenges head on. It allows clients of ours to leverage the Industry Benchmark tool to understand market trends across more than 2,000 locations. Outside of our national benchmarks, we also have on street and off street, as well as several subregions. With the industry benchmark tool allows you to measure and project those trends out. So we're giving you information day by day, week by week, and month by month to really track and project where the market is headed. Given that we're in this unprecedented COVID-19 era, every single day, every single week gives us more insight around what our new normal might look like. Last but not least, this marketing industry benchmark allows you to compare how your locations are doing relative to the market. And with that, I figure I'll just walk you through how we might use the industry benchmark tool. So what we're looking at here is our uh, industry benchmark tab right here in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. We're taking a look at our national off-street uh, benchmark for contract and transient parking. Basically in this crazy year we call 2020, and we're taking things on a weekly basis. This benchmark is incorporating data for more than 850 locations. So a really great sample size to understand how the market is doing. You can see here in the first couple of weeks and months of 2020, Things were off to a great start in the parking industry. We were up between anywhere between 15 and 20%. The story starts to change though in the first week of March. And really as the, uh, the virus starts to spread the week of March 16th, things really locked down. You can see that the low point of the industry was these first two weeks in April, the week of April 6th and the week of April 13th. Parking revenues were down at 93.77% on average. But the industry has been slowly recovering since then. Uh, particularly the weeks from May until early June, we saw uh, a pretty healthy clip. And so this growth has started to level off in these uh, last weeks of June and early weeks in July. So now we know where the market is, we can also use this to understand how, where things are going. So even though cases are rising across the US, we can. it's pretty safe to say that from this projection, I don't think we're gonna go back to the depths of the crisis back in April 6th. So from a projection standpoint, we can let all of our interested stakeholders know that can expect continued uh, revenue declines around 65% or 70% until things start to get under control. Last but not least, let's take a look at how our own location is doing against the benchmark. First thing that I can see when I look at this screen is that for the most part, it seems to be a very similar story. We were doing pretty well at the start of the year, and then obviously the pandemic has had its impact. But a couple of things stand out to me about this location. Here you can see through this stretch, it looks like our garage was a little bit more resilient than the industry average. This is interesting to me. We're beating the benchmark by about 8.79%, 8.92%. The other really interesting thing that stands out about this chart is these last two weeks here. So you can see over the last two weeks, we're beating the benchmark by 10% 
and by 9.6%. If I'm the owner or manager of this garage, I would really want to dig in and find out what's changed over these last two weeks. Who's coming? When are they arriving? How much are they paying? Chances are the way that people are utilizing a parking facility now and in the, over these past two weeks is very different than what it was in January. So let's make sure that we're pricing these folks correct and maximizing the revenue from the demand as it comes back. If you're interested in learning more, here's what we can do for you from an offer perspective. We're willing to offer the industry benchmark tool for free for a lifetime for select qualified locations. This means if you've got a specific brand of uh, parks or uh, mobile payments or what have you, we'll be able to onboard that data and give you the industry benchmark tool free of cost. The last thing that I want to mention, team, it's not just the consumers who deserve exceptional contact contactless experience. Parking professionals and asset owners need and deserve powerful remote management technologies for you guys to understand what's happening, when are people coming, how much are they paying, and optimizing the way that we structure our rates and our inventory allocation and our pricing around those parkers. If you're interested in learning more, you can go ahead and reach out directly to me. I'm at Cassius at smarking.com. Thanks so much.